here to brief the President, His Excellency the President, on Uganda's chairmanship of the Group of 77 and China. It has been eight months since Uganda was elected to chair the group, and we have achieved a lot. Uh, I also delivered a message from the UN Secretary General thanking the President for his leadership and for Uganda's leadership in the recent concluded negotiations on the Pact of the Future, which the Group of 77 led, and uh, the outcome will shape uh, the future of multilateralism at the UN and other international institutions. So Ugandan leadership has been impactful, and the milestone of the Pact of the Future will go in history as one of the major achievements of Uganda's chairmanship of the Group of 77. In addition, Uganda as a chair of G77 and China has been leading negotiations on climate change. And as we speak, there are over 50 negotiators of, of the Group of 77 gathered in Kampala for a strategic retreat to prepare for COP29 in Baku, uh, where decisions that will impact the future of tackling climate change will be decided, especially the issue of funding. Uh, the Global South want those countries, those developed countries that are responsible for the climate crisis to pay. This will be the year of finance, and the Global South wants finance that is free of debt, that is big. We are talking about trillions of, of dollars to address the historical injustice uh, done to the Global South due to global warming, uh, where the Global South really is not responsible for most of the pollution. So Uganda's chairmanship will be ending this year uh, with, on a high note with COP29, uh, but Uganda will continue chairing G, uh, NAM, non-aligned movement, for the next two years. And Uganda is the only country that has chaired both uh, forums that represent the global south and the international scene.